literally underneath a church, so about 50, 50 uh, yards above us is a graveyard. That looks simple enough. So some of these tunnels are so long that even my powerful light just can't reach the end of it. Just... Grandma? Just heard a thump above us, guys. Well, everyone, this is history in the making right here. Looks like America might be heading to civil war at this rate. So let's take the time to appreciate war. Tonight we're going to a place called the Stockport Air Raid Shelter. I've never actually been. Dan, what is that any good? Yeah, it's good. So this this place we're going to was used in the war. It was dug out, I think it was to house 1,500 people. Now it's actually underneath a church, so about 50, 50 uh, yards above us is a graveyard. Um, this was to house about 1,500 people. It still has the old World War II beds in there, like these bump beds, these metal bump beds all running through. There's uh, artifacts you can find uh, lying around the place. Uh, and it's a maze, it's a zigzag maze. And uh, we probably may get lost. So we just gotta keep our wits about us. And this, you know what, I've not been here since I've been proper adventuring. I, I came here when I was, uh, you know, just interested in the abandoned stuff and not when I was proper adventuring. There's some holes in the floor that lead down to lower tunnels that I've never been in before. So I might take a trip down there. I think we should all take a trip down there. Right, so basically, this is a well, basically a mile-long air raid shelter built during World War II to protect the inhabitants of obviously bombings. And I've never been here, but I'm always up for a good adventure. First time I ever came here was about 2010. Yeah, 2010 was the first time I came here, and then the last time I came here was 2012. I actually have a picture I'll send Andrew that you can flash on the screen. That was 2012. So uh, I, I know it's now open again after about seven years. Oh, I'm super Jesus. excited to get back inside. So you this think, is before YouTube. Yeah, you think it's going to be changed much from when you last visited? No, no, yeah. not at all. This place is a true time capsule, uh, a time capsule of rat run tunnels underneath a church uh, laid dormant since the war. This is a place that people used to run for their lives to hide from incoming air raid strikes. So it's uh, it's got a ton of history, um, a ton of, of haunting factors. And I'm just so happy we was able to bring it to you guys. Because if you see in this, we got it. Everyone smash underground in the comment section right now if you're excited that we're bringing undergrounds back on the channel. We'll see you in a minute. Now guys, I'm actually wearing this mask, not because I'm worried about what's happening in the world, but it's negative three at the moment and the temperature's just gonna keep dropping. But I'm trying not to slip because this is all like slick as ice. If you wanna get yourself your own mask, go to Google, type in Proving Demons Teespring and get yours today. Let's see how he does it, stuff on that. This is simple that, mate. Literally, step over, step onto this, put your foot onto there, onto here, hold this and step down. All right. That looks simple enough. Underground, yes, heights. I'm getting there, guys. I've done more and more, but I'm getting there. I guess it's my turn now. Uh, somebody take that for me. Whose bag is this? It's when you get for in Vin Diesel's jacket. are still jiggly from that climb. <laughs> yeah. So from what I've seen online, this runs roughly a mile. What hill was this called again? This is Dodge Hill. Mile under Dodge Hill. So yeah, it's a mile, but don't forget the intertwining tunnels. Yeah. Make it a lot larger than just a mile. This is pretty wicked. So what are the, so what are the arrows for? These are probably sprayed by other explorers as a, as a way out, but never follow them. 
Why? And this is so I get asked a lot. This is what I get asked a lot on my channel. People say, follow the arrows, you'll be fine. Well, no, it's not because you see there, E for exit, down that way. Wrong it's way. sealed up. Never ever follow someone else's arrows. Yeah, well, that's just how we carved it out. Don't forget, this is sandstone. Sandstone is very soft and easily uh, like cut out. And these are just all scraping marks. So I'm guessing this yeah. is well, I believe these would be toilets. Yep, toilets. And all original too. So obviously while this place would be being bombed in World War II, they would expect everyone to pile up in their beds in these small caverns. And they'd have to stay here indefinitely until a general, I suppose, would have to clarify that it's clear to leave. And I imagine afterwards, you'd just be heading up into a mass destruction. If you think about it, right, imagine being down here, it's being bombed above. I'm sure the sandstone would just be spilling down with sand all over everybody. Everyone terrified, women, children screaming and crying. Soldiers down here trying to keep them calm. Knowing that your house is being destroyed, basically. This is haunting. interesting now if this doesn't have some significance in our current society even this place old history in the ground you can still find discarded masks down here well litter is a problem throw away your mask kids so some of these tunnels are so long that even my powerful light just can't reach the end of it, it just seems to go on forever that way and that way take a ride I don't remember any of these being. Oh, check this out. Rusty. Oh, okay. Here we go. Old lantern. No, I mean, yeah. Where's that part of the traffic no, light? No, it's an old lantern. That is an old lantern, bro. So you put a candle inside that. Whoa. I don't remember this. Oh, no, I do. Sorry. Oh, look, they cleaned it up. Bro, last time I was here, this was a mess. Like I'm talking, there was, you couldn't go through it, it's like you cleaned it up, it's something. It's like you cleaned it up, it's something. It's like you cleaned it up. Wait, is this the door we saw on the yeah. outside? On the other side, the red to the beginning of the video, is it? The, the entrance. Wow. Oh, this is where I got a picture, look, Josh's gate. I got a picture here, back in 2012. Holding a, a stick on fire, and it was next to here. But it was an absolute mess back then. How clever. And it said Josh is gay, yeah. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, Josh. Kind of kind of poetic if you think about it. <laughs> it's kind of it's weird. Like, like something Mark Twain. And... Right. Right, we've been walking around for quite some time now. No end to these tunnels in sight. I'm honestly wondering what else there is down here. I've seen a lot of beds though. Oh, let's have a look. Rest in peace, Adidas. Huh? Just gonna man up and do it, don't care anymore. Yeah, it's really slidey. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't fall. Oh, shit. Oh, this is the individual entrance, right? Look at that. It's not a room in Willy Wonka. There's another room there. Oh, yeah. So as you guys can see, we are directly above, or under, excuse me, the motorway. So right above us, cars are just racing, racing by. And... No, no, sorry, if you look at your map, we're actually on the edge, because just over through that there is uh, the motorway. So... So we're just off the... You, we are slightly more in this tree line. We're about, we're probably about there. Hmm. So we need to head 
straight up there because that's an old church I'm pretty sure there's a church over here as well I think that's a church as well it was a church anyway there's definitely a church with a graveyard somewhere I can't believe this guys I just bashed my head I need to invest in a helmet from now on dead ass in concrete shook the whole building the stoners in the back laughed their heads off oh let me know in the comments is there a mark can you see anything Nah, it just brought us round that bit there, but we've just done this last bit we've not done. There's another entrance that I've not seen yet. Oh, well, we missed it then. Mm. Alright guys, so, as we speak, I'd love to show you on the map, but the deeper we've gotten, there's no more internet service. But we are, supposedly, right beneath the graveyard, the church graveyard. And I figured what better place to do this. I know then, Grandma and Grandpa are up there right now. Right. If this picks up on anything, it would be nothing short of a miracle. But we wouldn't be able to attribute it to proper radio station now, would we? It's trying. No. That's okay. So that goes to show you guys, that's why you can't do spirit box on the ground, but thankfully... Where the hell I put it? Thankfully, EVP can still be done down here. So we'll ask three questions and just see. Grandma? We just heard a thump above us, guys. Uh, is there anybody down here with us? Perhaps you're above us? Just try to leave any message you can, please. Right. I'll give it a quick listen and we'll just see. And then we'll continue. What the fuck is that? You're hearing that? That's a whisper? That's legit. What's it saying? Can't tell what it says. Almost like Christmas. That's weird. I feel like they were bubbles, guys. That's him. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no. No, the whisper bit. Oh, wait, I gotta go back more. Before that. No, it cuts in over my voice. At the end. I just heard a bang above us, and there's. Christmas or something. Anyway, that's interesting. Right, so fascinating stuff to get a proper whisper EVP down here, so I'm satisfied. Let's get on with the Tunnel Explorer. We're back exploring. If you want to go back and listen to that EVP and try and tell me in the comments, uh, what you think it says, please, please, please do. It would help out a lot. Fill the hole, I want to see it. You actually got a hole, you know? You cut your hole in your hoodie to do this mountain. Yeah. <laughs> on, it's to give on. it the authentic well, look of, of, it, of, it, of it not, not having, having a hole or a backpack on. Out. Yeah. It's just like playing a video game. You're going to be able to see me like a video game. Right, well. But I do like I've got a hunchback with it, okay? Right, hold it. It'd be a lot easier, yeah. It would be Put it off. Oh, you got it. Yeah, you got to cut this maybe all sharp. 
It's in our walls. Yeah, this is interesting to say the least. Got my fingers stuck. There we go. You have now become a cyborg. Push back over notch your dad. Oh, you even have a setup on your phone? Yeah. Six. I've up a little bit more. Alright. Right, let's go. Never seen anything like this before, but it's pretty cool actually. Yeah, you're you're not wrong on that one, man. It's uh never know, it could take off. Third person exploring. Did you just ask me? I said, do I look like an idiot? Let's ask the audience. Leave your answers down below and Dan can read them later. Do you think, honestly though, honest question, do you think it's worth looking like an idiot if I do look like an idiot to provide some like, unusual content? You That's don't, more of the question. You don't look like an idiot. You look like a Ninja Turtle, granted, with well, that pack, I'm, but... Well, I'll set up for a Ninja Turtle. I like turtles and I like ninjas. Right guys, I hope that was somewhat interesting, educational, and overall a good video. Um, before you go, if you enjoyed this, I do want you to check out this video right here. It's an absolute banger. I know you're going to love it. And I'll end it, as we always do. Do you believe yet? Yeah.